Magazine senior editor Peter Suderman and president and founder of the Agenda Project, Erica Payne. Welcome to the show. So he says that it's not do or die tomorrow night. What do you guys say? I certainly think that it's going to be a big test for President Obama. You know, uh, you, if you watched last week's vice presidential debate, Joe Biden was able to to, to kind of stop the bleeding um, and to give Democrats something that they could rally around. But what Obama has to do right now is prove that his campaign still has a pulse. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has a pulse. It has a pulse. It's not like he's gone down to 20 percent. Okay, okay, come on. Yeah. I mean, seriously, you think President Obama's campaign does not have a pulse when he's beaten your guy by five points in Ohio after he had probably the worst debate performance in presidential debate history? I mean, Joe Biden came in, and I'll tell you what Joe Biden did. Joe Biden made us all get that fight back that we wanted. Obama, you know, he is a more presidential guy. He is a reserved guy. And frankly, you know, I think he was watching that Romney, as the rest of us were, thinking, who in the world is this since right. you're saying nothing that is remotely like anything you've ever said before? I've dated people who were more consistent than that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so I, I should first say that Mitt Romney is not my guy. But the He's thing not, is, who here, is your guy? I, I, I don't have Mitt a guy. Romney I don't is have a guy. guy. Uh, this is this the whole is... point of it. Mitt Romney is nobody's guy. The only reason he had a bump in the polls for a second is because conservatives started to think, oh, maybe we're not going to completely get our get our. You know, butts handed to us in this election but because they were looking at a place where they were about the to base. lose. The Senate. Mm -hmm. This you isn't know? about uh, the, the the bump in the polls has not come exclusively or even mostly out of uh, the conservative base. It's come from the folks in the middle who have been undecided. That's been Romney's play all along. And in fact, that first debate uh, was relatively successful at pulling some of them over to his side. Well, when, let so me tell you what Romney has to do is, yeah. is stop the, um, the the momentum that Mitt picked up with the first debate. Well, uh, Robert Gibbs called Romney's last debate performance magical and theatrical. So is that Spanish for lying and over dramatizing? I think that's Spanish for that. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. I mean, that's what he really means. He's, he lied plenty. Of course, uh, I mean, probably, both sides probably lie, but not in the same way. I, the I same certainly degree. think it was magical in the sense that it was unexpected. Um, you know, and uh, this is one of the things well, that Romney is going to have to think about is that going into that debate, the expectations game, he was able to play to it because the expectation was that the president was going to beat him. I think that was a reasonable expectation. But now the expectation is that Mitt Romney is going to perform just as well and that we don't really know how well Obama is going to perform. So if Obama does pretty well. Well, his, do isn't this that's more kind of his, his beat, though, to be in the town hall and walk around a little bit and talk to the people? Isn't that more Obama's style? Uh, in fact, if you look at the numbers here, Mitt Romney has done a lot more of that. This is actually something that the Obama campaign is putting out there, telling people, telling the press, uh, is that Mitt Romney has spent a lot more time in his, the last five years, all he's done is run for office. He hasn't done anything else. Um, <laughs> I, I and he right. spent a lot of time, you know, doing these town hall style yeah. events where he and talks And I think, I think that this is the point. Uh -huh. You know, President Obama had to be president while he was preparing for debate, and, and Mitt had to prepare for the debate. And so that, that's a two, you know, two different amounts of time that are open to it. And then the second part about it is that, you know, I don't think that President Obama had any idea who he was debating when he went in there. He because, didn't. as I it said, Mitt, Mitt came out as a completely different person than he has throughout the entire campaign. Do you trust Mitt Romney? Absolutely I, not. I the man has the absolutely no philosophical no architecture there. whatsoever. And I'll tell you, as a liberal, progressive person, I have been disappointed with President Obama on a number of things in his first term. And I. I'm going to support him in this election because I think that he is the right candidate. But, you know, at least I know what I'm arguing against. I right. know when I go in to see his people that they are more conservative than I am. Don't you love it when they say, oh, he didn't deliver on his promises? What are they, 12 years old? What are they? You know, Daddy was going to take you to the circus, but I had a heart attack that day. You know, right. not everything proceeds as you planned it to proceed. I think that's the most immature response that you get from the So right. I have to say that with Mitt Romney, it's not a question, and his campaign at least is not framing this, uh, as a question yeah. of whether or not you trust him, the question is: Are you? Uh, uh, do you approve of what the president has done? Yeah, do you, you like where the economy is at? That a guy's think running for president, and he and he, and he doesn't even hit the question of whether or not you trust him because he's absolutely positive that nobody does trust nobody him. Nobody does. Because number one, he has bank accounts in every single country in this world right. except for America, basically, <laughs> and because he refuses to disclose he's any got tax of bank returns. Accounts. He refuses to disclose any tax returns before 2010. I wonder why that is. Could it possibly be? Because 
because he won't release 2009 because that is the year that he probably got amnesty from the IRS for the Swiss bank accounts that he had. I, I, I wow. really Bringing just don't over. think that, that I mean, Romney's so of course taxes, he's not running on his personal trustworthiness taxes because the guy issue. is not trustworthy. But I'll tell you what, what's actually his an issue is Romney's taxes, tax listen, plan because, and something. the math that doesn't because add up there. I care a lot more about the proposals for governance than how these guys have managed their own Mitt personal Romney's taxes. Romney's personal taxes and his personal tax returns have everything to do with how he runs a business and how he runs a business is what he's arguing is going to help him run this country and I would argue that no one who has been CEO of a company that doesn't has, create jobs that doesn't create right. jobs that does nothing other than extract the wealth out of the companies that he goes into for a very Puts small set out of, work. of what investors. I mean, in has fact, any you've idea seen a lot of studies. The fact that basically a hundred people in the Senate have veto power. You've seen so a lot of studies come out of the top econ exercise. departments uh, of many of the major colleges that say that private equity, in fact, adds to the economy, uh, is pro-growth. Uh, that Mitt Romney, I think, his business career is the is the part of his record that I respect the most. It's the fact that he is not releasing uh, the details of his plans that when you do try and yeah. make them add up, it's very hard well, to make the them. Mitt They're afraid of telling Mitt the Mitt Romney is a banker. Mitt Romney is not a business person. Mitt Romney is a banker, and there is a fundamental what do you difference mean by that? between those what two things. What do you things. mean by that? If you look at a person who makes a product, who packages that product, who sells that product to actual customers. Right. That is people who are creating value. When you look at Microsoft, they create value. You know, you look at these companies, they create value. Okay, what if does he do? Look so whatever Romney, says what, that Romney is a manager. It, it, is not, it is not the real economy. It is what is known as the finance economy. And the finance economy has been the tail wagon dog of this economy forever. Okay. And you know what happens? It all crashes. Okay, last word, and then I have to oh, What I would say is that Mitt Romney is a manager, and every corporation has managers who take the product and figure out how to make it better. Isn't it different, though, when Isn't you're managing a, manager? a country than when you're managing a business? It's a whole different job. I think, that, I think yeah. that's, that's, yeah. that's true, but yeah. you can look at his record in Massachusetts, and you can see that it's not but perfect, he, but it's... it's but for the, uh, there, there, there there some, job but he distanced, he distanced himself from what he did in Massachusetts. That's true. Now I he's back think to that. that that's a this big is why I don't trust the guy. is that he's not able to even run on his own record of government. So you don't like him either. I think there are deep problems with Okay, none of us like him here. Maybe Ann Romney's the only one who likes them today. All right, we're gonna, thank you guys very much, Erica and Peter. Thank you. When we come back, I'll be joined by the one and only Regis Philbin. Let's see what he has to say about this. Probably not really wanting to talk about it, I doubt, feeling.